hi guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can probably tell by my face i have a lot of makeup on and with festival season coming up with a matter of months i thought i would do my own take on the festival makeup and show you guys out there how i achieved this easy look literally without me like filming this and talking to my camera obviously this only took me about 15 20 minutes so it's really quick to do if you're last minute going to a gig or you're last minute going to a festival and you need something cool and different and this one's a little bit more colourful than the ones. A lot of people have been doing the white liner around their face, but I made this very kind of purple and pink orientated. So instead of using white eyeliner, I used purple liquid lipstick to create the lines on my face and the dots by my eyes and over my eyebrows. And I used a very cool lipstick on my lips, on my lips, on my lips to create this kind of cool unicorny shimmery effect um so yeah let's get into this beautiful really cool makeup i don't want to take this off like this is this is so cool i want to wear this every day but it's not acceptable so let's get into this so I have zoomed you in a lot and we are going to start on our eyes to begin with. And I'm sorry that this side of my face is slightly darker. The weather outside isn't grey and it's not been great for the since I've been home. And I have been home over a week now and the weather is still not improving. So I apologise for that. But the first thing that I'm going to take is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. Sort of like that size amount if you can really see that apologize it's focused on my face for the moment and i'm gonna take it on my middle fingers rub them together so i get a little bit on both and i'm just gonna lightly put this all over my eyelid and a little bit underneath because we are putting some eyeshadow underneath the eye now if i was actually gonna go outside with this makeup i'd be putting a moisturizer and a primer on but as i'm not actually wearing this inside i'm just staying in my house all day even though it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and i haven't left my bed basically but yeah so if you are planning or if you like this look and you want to wear it to a festival then I'd recommend putting on primer, SPF especially, and um, a little bit of moisturiser to make sure like your skin doesn't get dried out, especially if it's a hot day. What I'm going to be working from today is my Naked 3 by Urban Decay, as I thought I would do sort of like a pinky purpley eye look. So I'm going to take a well-loved brush from Tarte Cosmetics, which is losing the plastic. I don't know which what brush this is that's the only problem with tar is they don't actually tell you what the brushes are called so it's just a jewel ended brush that has sort of like a flat eyeshadow brush and then sort of like a little blending brush and i am going to take the shade limit which is the lightest uh first match shade and i'm gonna swirl my little brush around and tap off the excess and i am going to start building up a transition colour just to keep everything kind of seamless and together and I am taking that quite far up on the eye because I want everything to kind of have a blend with each other and then put that on the other eye. I apologise if my palette gets in the way but I need to use a mirror and it's not very easy to see in the viewfinder so you're just going to blend that in however high you want to take it and I'm sort of taking that across the whole crease of my eye until I feel like I have enough colour there and then I'm sort of like going to take it out in a V kind of shape and then we have the first colour. Same brush, I am going to take the shade Nuna, which is kind of in the middle next to the more orangey shade Trick, which is showing up orange on screen or on camera, but it's like um, a champagne-y kind of orangey colour. 
And then just with the other side of a brush, you can take any flat shader brush. You don't have to use the Tarte ones. You don't have to use the Real Techniques ones. You don't need to use a MAC one. Use whichever brush that you have. And I am just going to start packing this on my whole eyelid so that we have sort of like a base colour. And Nuna is quite similar to Limit. It is one of the other matte shades in this palette and I can't, oh there's stuff in my eye and it's just slightly darker and I thought just to have a matte kind of base to everything so that is where we are at so far if you can see that my camera has decided to not be on focus on my face so thanks a lot camera now we're going to start kind of giving our eye some dimension so i am going to take the shade factory which is a sort of like purpley brownie color and i'm just going to take that on a real techniques base shadow brush dust off the excess and then start to build that in the crease just to give the eye some kind of dimension that it's not all so it actually looks like I have a crease and then put some of that on like the outer section of the eye and sort of blend it in to that transition shade make sure it's all looking seamless and pretty and making sure that so this eye now looks like it has a little bit of a, a shape to it and then I'm just going to go back in with that transition shade and just blend it in like so. How have you guys, your guys' days been? What have you been up to? Have any of you guys finished uni and things? Or are you guys still at uni? Have you got exams, coursework? Tell me what's going on in your lives. I like hearing about other people's lives because I'm nosy. So now that we have that dark colour in both eyes I'm just gonna blend that all in again I am going to take oh I'm losing all my brushes in the camera I'm going to take a Urban Decay brush this is an Urban Decay shadow brush that came with this palette and I am just going to mix liar and trick together so that we have a little bit of the shimmery shimmeriness to the eye and I'm just gonna put that in that inner third of my eye just so we have some again dimension because you don't just want oh, I just put in the wrong colour get off my brush your eye to have a little bit of dimension and you always want the inner section of the eye to be a little bit lighter and shimmer it. So you just want to put a little bit of shimmer there to add so that when that also not only does it add dimension but when the light catches it it's gonna look really pretty. And then so far for that we are done with your eyeballs gonna zoom you guys out a little bit and do my foundation and for foundation I'm just gonna take my MAC studio fix foundation this is in the shade s no nope, not s nc20 and this has an SPF in it and I'm just gonna blend it all over my face so now that I have that all dotted over my face and uh, yes I know it is not that color match I have a little bit of a turn going on um, part of it's natural, part of it's not so natural. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this into my face. Going to beat it in. Like no tomorrow. I know in my past few videos I have used my It Cosmetics foundation. But if I was going on a night out or to a festival, I want something that's going to give me more coverage. And is going to last a little bit longer. So I tend to go towards my MAC foundation. I don't use this very often. It's blank over the lips. I don't use this very often though. Um, only for say nights out. It tends to be this if I'm tanned 
or the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I've just got foundation in my hair. I don't recommend that. You also want to make sure this is blended into your hairline and up your ears a little bit. And of course, down onto your neck. And that's going to give you a nice, good base for everything. The next thing I'm going to do is conceal the F out of my face. And I'm just taking my Maybelline Age Rewind to do that. I'm going to take that under the eye in sort of like a little triangular motion and on some spot of what I have going on and a little bit on my nose to give some more coverage. And then with my pink beauty blender that is of course dirty so what? Um, I'm just gonna blend that in. I think I have the shade fair I'm using at the moment. They don't do the fair out here but it's good for highlighting and good for covering stuff up that you want to cover. Now that you kind of have your base done, I'm just going to go in with my Mina powder and a IT Cosmetics 702 brush, which is a big sort of fluffy brush. Yes, it's dirty. Deal with it. I'm just going to go and powder my cheek, or ba my T-zone basically. I leave my under eyes uh, area till last to let that set a little bit. Take that down the neck, make, the feel, make sure everything's kind of blended in and ready to go. So now we're going to work on our eyebrows because of course the eyebrows can frame the eye look that we have going on. So I have now got back into using my um, Cabral by Benefit just because my roots are starting to come through my hair a lot more so the hair is sort of like looking a little bit darker it doesn't look as dark because it does in real life but let's zoom you in a little bit the glim brows but I have been using Cabral on the sort of like outer parts of my brow um, to help define an arch just like that and then the same on the other side, just like so. I feel the hair on my face. It's like tickling me. It's still there. <laughs> Get out my face. Then once you kind of have whatever you want to do, well basically you do your brows however you want to do them. But personally I do the, the um, gel and then I will go through with my Benefit Cabral in shade number Three. And the good thing about Cabral is that not only is it going to tint the rest of my eyebrow, but it's also going to keep them in place for however long I want to keep them in place for. Whether I want to have them all damn day, or whether I want to have them all damn night, they're not going nowhere. I really like this stuff. And if you're someone who likes a slightly more natural eyebrow than just running this through your brows just to say like the front of mine I don't like my eyebrows too Instagrammable I like to keep them quite messy and looking quite natural because we weren't born with Instagram eyebrows so why do I need to have them now so I just like to keep them natural messy blah 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 and now that we have the blah done we are going to work on contouring and adding some color into our faces so the first thing that i'm going to do is take my hula bronze by benefit with a giant brush this is by tar again i don't know the name or the shade of it and i'm just gonna go to town with this and tap the excess off there's still on there and go to town on my face and just add some shadows in and again I always love watching like the powder like fall off I don't know why or oh, that was a bit much oh dear on the forehead and then snatch the nose a little bit a little brush to do this 
because I'm one of those unfortunate people that needs, well I don't think I need to contour my nose but I like to, especially if I'm putting some effort into my face. I just like to contour. Can you blame me? Now that we've got some shadow, some shape to our face. Um, some people would probably just leave it at that and just have the contour. I would put way too much on this side. I also like to put some blush on just to add some colour. So, just put that on my face. Just to give myself a little bit of colour so that I don't look so dead. Take my highlighter, which is from, again, Tarte Palette. Go see it in each of my tutorials or each of my videos that I do. And I'm just gonna... Oh, look at it. Look at that shine. Look at that horrible contour that I did. I don't care. Makeup's all about mistakes. Makeup's all about learning. You do you. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this highlighter under the brows. A little bit on the nose, a little bit down the center, and then with like the very corner of the brush, take some and put it in the kind of tit up area. So now we have some shape, some shine, stuff to our face. It's time to go back to the eyes. So we're now back to the eyes. I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay 24-7 liner. I don't know what shade this is though. This was a sample. I Oh, it's in the shade Vice. I'm blind. And I'm just going to put this into the waterline. Because you can never have too much purple in your life. more purple and curl the eyelashes ready for some fake lashes so I if you guys watched my haul that went up on Tuesday I bought a set from QVC which you'll just see me about to use which is the um, Tarte Tartis Mascara and the Tarte Opening Act Primer and then this is the eyelash curler that also came in the set. So far, this will be like <laughs> mini review here incoming. So far, I have really enjoyed the products. Like, surprise, surprisingly enjoyed. I'm usually someone who likes the Lights Camera Lashes, which is very much a fan favourite. Um, I love that mascara, but it is quite pricey over here. I think it's 20... Oh, I think it's about £23 just for one. And I prefer to buy it in America because I believe it's $21. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not American, I don't live there. I believe it's around $21 out there, so it works out quite a bit cheaper than to buy it here. But this was on a deal for £23, you got full size mascara, full size primer and the eyelash curler which I desperately needed a new eyelash curler and so far I have really enjoyed both of these products. The mascara reminds me a little bit of the um, Benefit They're Real mascara, it feels like a similar formula and it has sort of like a similar type of brush it doesn't quite have the same rounded tip as the their real has but it has quite a chunky plastic bristled brush which I personally prefer over the fabric would you say they're fabric brushes yeah it's really hard to talk when you're putting the scar on I'll be back with you in a second. So yeah, as I was saying, it definitely reminds me of the They're Real and I really like it. I feel like it makes my lashes look pretty and long and they stay curled a little bit better. I don't know if that's down to the curler or the primer or whatever, but I'm proud of you, Tar, and thank you for bringing this to the UK and I recommend it to anyone. 
with that scramble done, I'm now going to leave my lashes to dry and we are going to get started with doing the pattern. So <laughs> I apologize if I start to go down because um, I'm doing the dots around my eyes and things. Taking so the two liquid lipstick colours that I'm going to use, once my camera decides that it wants to focus on me, there we go. I'm using Kat Von D's Lolita and NYX Liquid Suede in Amethyst. I just feel like these two together a stark contrast and it kind of goes with how there's darker on the outer corner and everything else is quite light and pretty and pinky and lilac-y. So yeah, let's get started with using Lolita. So I'm just taking a small um, liner brush from Real Techniques and I'm just taking the wand and just going to do the nose lines first. So the first one you want to do sort of like across the top is going to be smaller. Like that. If you can kind of see. I can't see me any more than I already have. I apologise but you can kind of see where it is sort of like side to side and then the one underneath is going to be a little bit longer like so like that. So then you have a little line and a long line. So we're just going to draw a little line the centre upwards. I don't know if it's central. I really don't get it. Like so. It's a little bit wonky. I don't care. And then we're going to start doing the dots around the eyebrows. So we'll start off actually first doing the dots around the sides. So I'm just doing two and then in between I'm going to do the dark purple. The same on this side, only two. So one there, one there. Just simple. Simple, simple, simple. <laughs> it's going to require a lot of concentration. When it focuses, you'll be able to see what I've just done. Like so. So you want to leave a gap in between. I mean, you can leave it like this if you want to, but because I want to do two colours, I'm leaving a gap in between. And you'll do the same again. The other side. Like so. Take the wand of Amethyst, and this is a really pretty sort of electric-y purple colour and you're going to start to put one in the middle of each so along the brow and you can do this as messily or as neat I'm kind of steering away from doing eyeliner just because there is a little bit going on with the eyes and I know this dot is really out of place and this dot is really close but that is the whole point. It's going to be messy. So for this look I'm just going to stick to putting some lashes on. So let's see how well that goes because I've never put eyelashes on on camera before so I don't know how well <laughs> this is going to go. Okay, so I can't put my lashes on on camera, so I'm going to put these on off camera and then come back and show you what it looks like all together and then we will finish off the face and everything will be a-okay. The task of lashes has now been accomplished and these lashes weren't really agreeing with me. You can probably see them very blatantly. They are a bit old, but I can't seem to find any of my other ones, so these will have to do for the moment. So to continue on with the last few bits and bobs that we need to do, we are now going to go in and set the under eye so all of that is not going to budge with a little bit of, I'm about to get a little bit of foundation, a little bit of 
eyeshadow with the darker colour again and put that underneath the lashes. So just putting a little bit of factory, swirling it around on the end of this brush and just putting that under the eye to blend everything like that. Just to make, make sure everything is attached together. Putting in with a baby doll and putting that on the lower lashes. And all we have left to do now is the lips. So for lips, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced lipstick in the shade Unicorn Tears and putting that Great. It's such a cool colour. So that is the final look all together. So this is my kind of take on the festival makeup. I wanted mine to be very much a one colour that kind of connected all in with each other and to make the eyes really smoky. I'm not someone who wears heavy makeup all the time or at least heavy eyeshadow um but i really enjoy playing with makeup and i'm gonna, hopefully gonna do some more of these where i just slap on some colors and see what happens i'm definitely gonna do a prom makeup video and i may even do maybe a video on doing my prom makeup like the prom makeup that i had when i went to prom a bit like the how i did my makeup in high school but how i did my prom makeup maybe i'll maybe i'll start that trend <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoy this fun makeup and if any of you guys use this makeup in any festivals or try this makeup yourself, put a picture on Instagram, tag me in it, I will be really cool, or I will be really cool, it will be really cool to see your guys' makeup looks and yeah, so that is that. So when you're not chatting to a camera, it doesn't take very long to do and I really like this lipstick. This is the first time I've ever worn it and I feel like it goes really well with the whole festival makeup trend and I feel like with my short hair it just makes it all look really cool and stand out. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.